What is up guys? In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use a macro for Beastworm Simulator or any other Roblox game on a virtual machine so that you can still maintain use of your keyboard and mouse and still use your computer while you have the macro running in the background. Okay so for this we're going to be using VMware. Uh, VMware does usually cost money but I'm going to be giving you a download and a key uh, for free of course in this video which should work for everyone so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, as you can see here, I, I'll just bring it over here. Uh, I have it macroing in the background. Uh, it's doing a bit of everything, to be honest. It, a virtual machine basically is a machine inside your computer. So it's a PC inside a PC. And it has its own mindset, its own controls, etc. Its own keyboard, own mouse, stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about uh sitting there not being able to use your device whilst you have the macro running so to do this first of all you're going to want to head to this link in the description it should take you to feedapps.blogspot.com to this area and it will take you to this download now just be careful i have this on brave browser so i don't have any of the pop-ups i don't know if this website has pop-ups but make sure the download button looks like this and when you click on it, it should open this. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click Get VMware Workstation Pro for Windows. As the download begins, I recommend saving it to your desktop. And we'll be back once this is downloaded. Once you've finished installing this file, what you're going to want to do is open it. And it's going to start installing VMware. Once you've installed VMware, you should eventually get to a screen like this. You won't, you won't have this here because this is a machine I already have created. But the next step to this is we're going to need an operating system to run on this machine. So what I like to do, the best one I've found is uh, Windows 8.1 because it tends to just run the smoothest. Uh, I tried it with Windows 10. I had a lot of problems with sensitivity. When the character was turning, it would turn a lot and it would become a huge problem. So Windows 8.1, the turning feels a lot better and also it runs a lot smoother. The, the virtual machines run based off of how much of your host PC that you dedicate to them. So because Windows 8 uses a lot less than obviously Windows 10 does, you, you don't have to worry about things going wrong. Once you go to this website, you choose, I think, I chose 32-bit just because you don't need 64-bit. This is only going to be running a macro in the background. You're not using this for other games. You can use it for games like Minecraft, alts and stuff like that if you really want to, but there's no actual need to. Once you have the Windows 8.1 ISO file downloaded, which it's around five gigabytes, so it might take a second. What you're gonna to want to do, you're gonna to want to go into your VMware fifteen point five Pro and click Create a new virtual machine. This will bring up this. You want to do Custom, and you want to go Next. You want to select the file of where your uh, uh, Windows eight point one is, and then you want to make sure that's selected. Click Next. And now we're moving on to the Windows product key. So what you're gonna to wanna to do in the description, I have these two keys and this one is for VMware, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna need whilst downloading it. And this one you're gonna need, this is the one for Windows 8. Uh, copy that from the dis description and you're gonna put paste that in. This should work, it should be good. And this is going to be the system name. So I'm going to name this video. You name this Beastworm Simulator, Macro, whatever you want. Don't put a password. You don't need to. And then, of course, actually, I'm pretty sure this is the name of your user. I'm going to name a video. And then this is the name of your virtual machine. So that's what it's called up here. So mine's Beastworm Simulator. Name it video. Uh, you want to install it with BIOS. And I usually dedicate two processors and I have two calls per processor. You find this in your task manager by going to performance and to CPU. As you can see, I have eight cores and 16 natural processors, which means I have two processors per core. That's how it works. It's very simple. 
And yeah, so I usually do two and two because it usually works. I like to give 3,000 megabytes of RAM. You don't need this, but it's what I like to give it. Uh, keep that as NAT. Keep that as that. Uh, keep that. Uh, next, you don't want to create a virtual disk. This is what it's going to store uh, all the data for this operating system on. So what I like to do, I usually give it around 40 gigabytes. Keep it split into multiple files. And you can name the file whatever you want. It's got to be VMDK in the end, though. Make sure you have that. In terms of customized hardware, uh, everything should be what you set it as, except for display. And this is how much video memory your graphics card, I'm pretty sure, is. So, uh, 512 is typically the best, because you don't want it to use too much, because then games in the background won't be able to run the best. But I usually like to keep it 1 gigabyte. And then once you do that, you click finish. It's going to create the virtual disk is going to start installing Windows 8 onto it. And then once you go through that, you should uh, eventually get onto just a desktop of Windows 8. Now, I'm going to end my macro here. So, eventually you'll, you'll just get to the desktop like this. It'll say Windows 8.1 in the corner. What I like to do is uh, Press the Windows key and delete any apps that you know you're not going to use. So, music, not going to use, whatever video, not going to use, this games, you don't need any of these. Once you've done that, go to your desktop and you're going to want to go to Internet Explorer. This is all preference based, you can use Internet Explorer if you want. I don't know why, but I really like using Brave. So, th the first thing I usually do when I load up this, I immediately just type Brave Browser and download Brave as my browser and then once I have that I load up Brave you're going to want to download uh, three things you're going to want to download Auto Hotkey and you're going to want to download version 2.0 so you go to downloads and download version 2.0 you're also going to want to go to Discord and you're going to want to go to the Natro Macro Discord right here and you go you do the verification you go to downloads natural macro scroll down all the way to the bottom and click this one but make sure you have this on the virtual machine you don't need to download discord on the virtual machine so you don't have to worry about uh downloading discord and everything you can just open discord for your browser all you have to do is log in so as long as you have as long as you're in the macro macro server on that account you should be fine and then go to macro macro download it Extract it and then if you have auto hotkey downloaded when you go to launch natural macro it should auto uh, It should be like wrong version and it'll download the right one for you and it should open into this so normal Natural macro download process and that's one of the issues like roblox everyone knows how to download roblox you go to launch into a game and It'll be like download install you click install and it'll bring it in now in terms of the macro running in the background, so you can use your keyboard and mouse. All you want to do, load into the game, have your macro set up to do what you want. Once it loads into a game, all you do is start the macro, and you can move your mouse out of the macro zone, and continue to use your PC. So if I climb my house slot and just start the macro real quick. If I press F1, as you see the cursor will move, you can press Control alt and that'll pop your cursor out. So the cursor's up here. I also have a cursor here. So that was Control Alt, and it'll pop it out. You can click into the screen if you want to take over again. And you can minimize this, do whatever you want in the background, watch some YouTube, and yeah, do whatever you want. So, uh, and thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more content.